The other day, I wanted to get a cup of soup for lunch, and there's a place, a Chi- not a Chinese place, there's lots of Chinese places, but it was an Italian restaurant I like to go to, not a restaurant, a takeout place, whatever it is, but they have very good pasta vajoli. I like the pasta vajoli soup there. It's very, very good. So I went to this place to get the pasta vajoli soup, and they give you a cup of soup, and it rolls very, very nice, and it's for $5, very, very good. So I went there to get it, and it's a takeout. You can eat there to be taken out, and I took it out. I paid the $5, and I go into my car, and I go to eat it, and it doesn't taste right. And I think, well, maybe it's me, maybe it's the beans, maybe it's whatever it is. And I'm, I take another spoon, another spoon. And, and you know, when, when your instincts tell you something, don't do it. You shouldn't do it. When your inner voice talks to you, and I hear voices all the time, but when your inner voice, uh, I listen to my, my, the voices in my head. I listen to the inner voice all the time. I, every time I, my inner voices speak to me, I listen to them. I don't listen when Andrea speaks to me, but I listen when the inner voices speak to me. So the soup didn't taste good. I had one soup, a, a sip, one, two. After maybe the third or fourth, I said, this doesn't taste right. So I get out of the car, and I dump it in a bin there. I said, I'm going to go somewhere else. I said, well, I'm here already. I better just go in and get a sandwich, a veal sandwich. So I walk in, and I said, hello, I'd like to get a veal sandwich. And the girl that just waited on me said, you were just here for the soup. I said, I know, but the, the soup didn't taste right. I didn't... It does, I, I, I like the soup, but that didn't taste right. She goes, wait, let me get the manager. So, so or let me get the owner. The owner comes over. What's the matter? I said, I'm ordering a veal sandwich because I just got the soup, the pasta soup, but it didn't taste right. And what did he say to me? He says, I had the soup today. It tastes fine. Now, how am I supposed to respond to that? A customer, me, tells the owner of the restaurant, I just had the soup. It didn't taste right. I just threw it away. I'm going to order a veal sandwich. And the owner, instead of saying, oh, well, we better check it out, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, what'd you pay for it? I'll, I'll take it off. I'll give you the veal sandwich. Or I'll just I'll give you one of soda with it. I'm terribly sorry. Let me know again. None of that. What did the owner say? I had the soup. Tastes fine. <laughs> so what did I say? I said, well, I like the soup here very much. I always come here for the soup. But it just didn't taste right. And what did he say? Soup tastes fine to me. I had the soup. Tastes fine. He just repeated the same thing. He said again. You know why? He doesn't know what else to say. And, he's, and I'm insulting him because of his soup. I don't know if he made the soup, but it didn't taste good. So the first time I told him it didn't taste good, he tells me, I had it taste fine. So my response is, I like the soup here very much, but it didn't taste good. And he said, I had the soup, taste fine. I said, well, you know, maybe when you had the soup, the top of it was good, but by the time I got it, the bottom wasn't that good, and maybe that, the part that I got wasn't that good, the part that you got, and I, sw- I swear I said this, the part that you got tasted good because it was on the top, but by the time I got it, maybe it wasn't that good. And what did he say? I had the soup, tastes fine. <laughs> it was like talking to a robot. So what happened? I ordered the veal sandwich, and the girl rings up the veal sandwich, $7, whatever it is. She says, I'm sorry, I, I brought the owner over. I thought he'd give you to take the $5 off from this, but... Uh, if you, if you uh, brought that the soup, maybe I could give you the $5 off. I said, well, the soup's in the bin, your trash bin behind you. So if you look in there, that's where the soup is. But uh, I, I couldn't eat the soup. It, 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 uh, you know, when your inner voice, your instincts tell you not to you do something, so I don't do it. And what did he say, the owner right there? I had the soup taste fine. They must have a robot working at this place because that's all he kept saying. So you think I'm going to go back to this Italian restaurant. Now, there's other franchises of this restaurant. I'm going to go to another one because maybe they all make the same soup like at McDonald's. They all have the same formula, but it didn't taste right. But for $5, the owner of the restaurant, a customer who, who said, I like, I like it here. I come back all the time. It may probably know who I am. Not all the time, but I like the soup there. Would not take off $5. And I came back in to order a veal sandwich. Now, here's why I'm telling you this. I'm doing a deal with a gentleman. We're shooting the show for the series and all this other bullshit and stuff. And we were doing a shoot a few weeks ago, and he said, Dave, I'm, I'm renting the camera for this week, and it's going to be uh, $150 to rent the camera. I got a deal from a friend, whatever the bullshit it is. I said, well, you know, we're not booked yet. I don't have a specific date to book yet, so don't book it just yet. Well, I got to book because we got to shoot no matter what. No matter, well, well, it's not me. I'm booking a location. It's not, I can't make the decision. But, well, he booked it anyway. And we have a deal that he does the editing, and I do the, the, the crew, the shooting, whatever it is. And I managed to bring on another camera guy that wanted to work with me on spec. Didn't cost me anything to do the shoot. Nothing. So what do they say? Well, I already booked the camera. You've got to pay the $150. And I said, but I, I didn't tell you to book the camera. Well, I, we, we had to shoot anyway. We, I knew we were going to shoot, so I had to book the camera, so you've got to pay the $150. So what happened? I paid him the $150. I didn't agree with paying the $150. I, if I told him, look, book this camera, then I'm on the hook. I didn't tell him. He did it on his own. I had nothing booked. And besides that, I got somebody else to do it for nothing. And I still had to pay. I'd hack it. I gave him $150. What am I going to do? So $150 for 
$5 is a lot more than $5. So here's some guy that I had to take 150 out of my pocket to give to him because he booked the camera. That's, that's the deal. He does the editing. I, I hired the crew. But the owner for $5 doesn't credit me $5. So you understand that the guy wouldn't credit me $5 for soup, but I didn't fight with my business partner in this deal. I got my business partner, my whole company, just this specific deal we're partners in, that I took out like a mensch, $150 to pay him because of our, rela- of our business agreement or whatever the hell, even though I didn't tell him to book the camera. But I gave it, all right, here's $150. But the owner of the soup didn't say, all right, here's $5 back. It didn't work out for you, here's $5 back. He didn't do that. He kept the $5. Will you go to caveofbrosty.com and tell me what the hell is the matter with me?